Yo, what's going on everybody? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I know I usually don't talk over the pre-game intro, but sometimes you can't believe in too short. He be getting them crazy copyrights, but I wanted to get something out the way before we start. I want to welcome you guys to Game 4 of the NBA Finals. You already know how this Finals is going. It's 2-3-2, two, two, which means it's three games in Miami, and this right here is the second one. So we got one more, you know. People saying, oh, we're not going to make it to Game 6. But you never know, man. The Miami Heat, you can't count them out. But we doing what we need to do. So let me let the commentators talk real fast. And here we go with Game 4 of the NBA Finals. We will see a Game 5, but will we see Game 6? That's the question. All right, you guys. First of all, I want to talk about a quick topic. Now, I know a lot of people have played the Miami Heat on NBA 2K13. You can probably say that this game is getting old already. It's almost February. The game came out in October. But I want to tell you about the different stages that we have to go through playing up against the Miami Heat. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, what do you mean by stages? Well, in the first quarter, I'm going to show you what I mean. Check this out. We're coming down on offense, right? We're up 6-2. No problem. We're doing what we need to do. Me, myself, I shot the jump shot. Didn't know that I was going to miss. Now, check this out. Check out the outlet. Look at LeBron cutting to the basket. That right there is a stage that you have to deal with. In the first quarter, the Miami Heat do not miss. They always go to the line. They get in ones. Me, myself, when I go to the line, I dunk it. I lay it up. I never get to the line. I barely even... If you guys would check how many free throws I've taken in my career mode I've probably taken about a maximum of 10 seriously no lie I'm not I'm not lying to you guys this is just what happens now the next stage that happens in the first quarter I'm telling you this is every single game that I've played up against the heat until now we run our play sets we do what we need to do you know I, I try to make my team better as you see right there drumming getting a crazy dunk but the one thing that we have to worry about is Dwayne Wade now, what I mean by you have to worry about Dwayne Wade, look at what he's doing to the defense. He's getting what he wants. He's doing what he needs to do. Now, me, I have no fear. I always, every time a superstar scores on, from a different team, I have to come down, get the offense ready, and I have to put some points on the board or get my guys involved. So, you see me running my nice play, getting a nice shot. No, I don't have that eye. But, <laughs> you guys can probably think what you want. But, like I said, D-Wade... He's going to do what he do. He's shooting in people's face. He's not missing. And me personally, I just think of it like this. Look at, look. matter of fact, look at the stats. Conference finals, 57% from the field. Think about that, guys. 57%? It's like these dudes just don't miss. Now, me, I'm going around and dunking on as many people as I can. And you know I got the Nike replay, so you know you're going to see the vertical. It may not be as crazy as, you know, some of my other videos, but for the end, it's cool. It's, it's, it's cool with me, man. One day, I'm going to get that 50-inch vertical, and, you know, I'm going to probably put out a commercial for that joint or something. But back to what I was saying, man, D-Wade, like I said, doing what he needs to do offensively. This guy, you saw a four for five. Well, that one, that one shot that he missed, that was nothing. But me, like I said, I come back down and I do what I need to do. Check out Aldridge cutting. Now, me, myself, I would have thought that Aldridge would have cut to the basket. But, you know, Aldridge has a great shot close, a great shot medium. So, it's all good with me. Now, check this out. Look at how dumb I am trying to come over to help. Even though they did miss a shot, me personally, I thought that he was going to nail that no problem. But, hey, I guess no defense is good defense, right? <laughs> But this right here is the last play until we get into the second quarter. Look at look at the defense that they're playing. And look at D-Wade cutting to the basket. I don't even have to tell you nothing. I'm shutting up. Make sure to pick up the newest copy of NBA 2K14 in store soon. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I just wish I was on the cover. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really love that commercial. But basically, let's talk about the second stage. Now, the second stage is in the second quarter. It's LeBron James, and that is his name. Now, what I mean by this is LeBron James can't be stopped just as much as D-Wade can. And I kind of look up to the Miami Heat for the way that they do things. When D-Wade is going off, LeBron takes a back seat. When LeBron is going off, D-Wade takes a back seat. But me personally, I don't take any time off. I got to put points on the board all game long. I have to get assists all game long. Look at the plays that they're setting up for LeBron. I know you guys can't see the play art, but just check out what this man is doing. He's he's Look, we have to call timeouts. That's how bad things are getting. You know, it's 32-31, and I'm like, yo, how can I stop the Miami Heat? 
And it just dawns on me that, hey, you know what you got to do? You got to score 100. So, you know, for now and on, whenever I play up against the Heat ever again, after this NBA Finals, I'm just going to try to put up 100. It's that simple because these guys, it's like they really can be stopped. You know, when you look at their starting five, you think, okay, D-Wade, LeBron. But sometimes you got to think about Chalmers because when you're playing defense and help out D, Chalmers is always wide open. But check out this fast break move right here. Did you see the fake spin alley-oop? Like, did anybody catch that? You know, I, ain't want, I don't want to run too many replays because, you know, it, it takes a lot of time to talk over a replay that you've already seen. But I couldn't get the shooter's roll. LeBron is out on a break. You know how things go. Nobody's playing defense. He gets fouled. He's going to the line. And I changed the clip as fast as I could. When he started shooting his free throws, I threw the controller at the wall. No, I didn't break it. I have about three one, three controllers. And it wasn't my IKC controller. Promise you. I promise you. But check out this right here. Did you see that dunk? Sometimes I just can't believe that a point guard can do these athletic type of dunks. But you see the score is 50 to 52. The second quarter is coming down to an end. But did you check the behind the back move? It's only right for me to show you that replay. I split the defenders with a behind the back move. And just to let you guys know, the video got so crazy. The game was so heated that I really didn't even want to watch the halftime report. You guys know how my videos go. I always show the halftime report. I always have the computer talk, but this time I wasn't feeling it. So I skipped out of it as soon as I could, man. But we're getting into the third quarter now. This is the third stage in the game against the Miami Heat. Now this right here is called defense. And when I mean defense, I mean stupid, crazy defense. Me, you know how I play the passing lanes. I take cookies. I do what I need to do. But LeBrick blocking my shot like that? Can you believe it? I could have swore that LeBron was going to run all the way to the paint. And I was going to pull up with no problem. But, hey, in the third quarter, defense comes out of nowhere. Guys start double teaming. Your, your teammates start getting better on defense, actually. Look at the look at the pass that LeBron just coughed up like sometimes you just guys just got to notice like look at this look at me just throwing oops thinking somebody's gonna catch it i'm trying to get to the rack people ain't letting me through i'm telling you guys when you're playing against the miami heat defense is a key factor in the third quarter i promise you now look look at the personal fouls that we giving up out here okay we're up but hey the miami heat like i said you can't take nothing away from them but i had to show you this play right here you guys know how I do on the inbound. I had to. It was only right. Me and Drummond was just feeling it at the moment. I know you guys like the way the cameraman put that new lens on it. He checking from all different angles. Look at that iPod King Carter on that jersey, though. That's crazy. <laughs> but let me get back into the video. Let me show you this last clip real quick before we get into the next one. Now, back to the defense. You'll probably notice when you play any team that defense gets stepped up. And I'll tell you why. First of all, players already know what's happening in the game. Certain players are already hot, such as D-Wade and LeBron. So guys key in on them more. Me, myself, I have to worry about Chalmers. But at the same time, if I don't worry about D-Wade and LeBron, they may go for 50. I promise you, I've seen Kobe get a bunch of points on my team. Now, that move right there, I know you came and seen me, you know, cross that boy up, put the moves on him and get to the rack. I wish it would have been an and one. I would love if it was an and one. <laughs> me personally, but like I said, man, defense definitely comes in effect. Look at that play. I, I, I don't know. They were double teaming the shot. I've never seen an animation where guys both put their hands up and they're both able to jump when you're laying it in. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, when I'm playing this game, I think, well, mm, I might be able to tweak that a little bit. But sometimes, man, the computer do some outrageous things. Now, check out Wade on this play right here, man. This is what I have to worry about all game long. Wade passed it to... <laughs> Did you see Damian Lillard snap out, by the way? <laughs> he passed it to the Chalmers. Damian gets the foul. So, you know what this means. Damian Lillard is in the game. It's the fourth quarter. Now, this right here is the fourth stage. And what I mean by this is the cheesiness to get the win. Now, what I mean by that is both teams in general, no matter who you play, especially the Miami Heat, everybody's up faking, getting to the line. 
everybody's playing the passing lanes, getting steals. Look at this. L look at the cheesiness that's going on just to win the game, just to get a lead. I'm telling you, this is no lie. I've noticed the computer does a lot of crazy things. I've played this game so much. I have a lot of time logged in, so I notice a lot of crazy nonsense, especially Damian Lillard getting torched by Mario Chalmers. Now, you guys didn't see me getting torched by Chalmers, right? He was actually missing when I was defending him. But when Damien in the game, Chalmers is all that. But did you see me set that brick wall? I know he fell on a hesitation. But hey, I, I set a brick wall screen. That's all I'm saying. But check out D-Wade right here on this move. That move right there, I, I, I had to put it in this video. I got used and abused. No lie. <laughs> like, I couldn't understand what happened on that play with the, the fake half spin layup. It was crazy. But you know how I do. I got to come down and I got to get to the rack. Every time somebody scores on me, I have to score too. Me, myself, I even was calling for the ball. I was so pissed off. I'm like, hey, when you guys going to give me a foul? When you guys going to let me go to the line? But no, more cheesiness comes out. LeBron catching alley-oops from the back door cuts. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful game. But it's three minutes left in the game. You know how I do. I have to put on my cheesy sneakers real quick. So I start hop spin and, and, and all of this nonsense. Like when I'm playing the game and I know for a fact that I need to win and I got to do everything I need to do, I start cheating. I, ain't, I don't even care. But you see me catch LeBron right there. And you see me catching with the, oh my good. Did you guys see the hop step fade? Really? <laughs> But this right here is the last play of the game. It was a nice little quick isolation. I just want to show you how I made greatness happen. I know you guys probably like, oh, I'm about to make him fall, but nah. I just wanted to go to the rim and Euro on him. I'll see you on the press conference. Greg Oden didn't pan out, so they drafted iPod. David Carter, perfect picture like a tripod. A point guard that delivers like Papa John's. Me drafted as the front page topic, I'm Philly Pride, Team Villanova. Finesse game, but the heart of a soldier. When I go to the rack, there's no stopping me. Better bring a double team, better stand properly. <laughs> On defense, move your feet Taking the blaze to the chip to abuse the heat I was raised like a crip cause I ruled the street Not the court, the blacktop, the moves, the heat Pull off, it's like the late, great, great Magic Johnson I got drafted 11, that was nonsense Name a player that penetrates better Number 15 on the polo sports sweater Chris Paul better pass the torch fast I'm the weatherman on the court, the forecast Said it's gon' rain, I'ma bring pain Double team Dave Carter, bet I go lame I'm the king, LeBron better step off He kicked the door down, I'll blow the deck off No rookie in this league can get with me Most points, most assists, bet I make history History, history It didn't matter where you shot from tonight, everything was falling. Have you ever felt this confident about your shot before? Of course, of course. <laughs> That's why we're in the NBA Finals. If I wasn't confident, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, it's happened before. Sometimes you get into one of those rhythms where the ball's just dropping in no matter what you do, man. It might be for a quarter or the whole game or could even go on for a week or two. And that's the time I love playing basketball, man, more than anything. When you feel unstoppable, like you can do no wrong. Man, if I could bottle up that feeling and sell it, I'd be a rich man and the best player that ever lived. This is IKC signing out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you on Game 5. Peace.